Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Monday, August 24th, and today is the feast day of, of the Apostle St. Bartholomew. Um, according to the, uh, the lists, Bartholomew goes by two names, actually. He's also Nathaniel. Um, and, so, uh, and so we celebrate the feast day of, of Nathaniel. <clears throat> So, um, I think, uh, if you've been in Western Michigan, uh, you know that we have had a string of just absolutely beautiful days. Um, this has actually been an incredibly beautiful summer, um, to the point where, uh, even though the water table is so high, uh, a, a little rain would be nice, but I don't think that's, uh, in the, I don't think we're going to get that today. I think we're going to have, as I mentioned, a, a just another incredibly beautiful day. So friends, um, we begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Rise up, O men of God, have done with lesser things. Give heart and soul and mind and strength to serve the King of Kings. Rise up, O men of God, his kingdom tarries long. Bring in the day of brotherhood and end the night of wrong. Rise up, O man of God, the church for you dost wait. Send forth to serve the needs of men, in Christ our strength is great. Lift high the cross of Christ, tread where his feet have trod. As brothers of the Son of Man, rise up, O men of God. My commandment is this, love one another as I have loved you. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My commandment is this. Love one another as I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. 
Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. <clears throat> Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. You are my friend, says the Lord, if you do what I command you. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are my friends, says the Lord, if you do what I command you. A reading from St. Letters Paul to the Ephesians. You are strangers and aliens no longer. No, you are fellow citizens of the saints and members of the household of God. You form a building that rises on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is fitted together and takes shape as a holy temple in the Lord. In him you are being built into this temple to become a dwelling place for God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have made them rulers over all the earth. You have made them rulers over all the earth. They will always remember your name, O Lord, over all the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, you have made them rulers over all the earth. On the foundation stones of the heavenly Jerusalem, the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb are written. The Lamb of God is the light of that holy city. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. 
He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On the foundation stones of the heavenly Jerusalem, the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb are written. The Lamb of God is the light of that holy city. Beloved friends, we have inherited heaven along with the apostles. Let us give thanks to the Father for all his gifts. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the banquet of Christ's body and blood given us through the apostles, which refreshes us and gives us life. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the feast of your word prepared for us by the apostles, giving us light and joy. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for your holy church founded on the apostles, where we are gathered together into your community. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the cleansing power of baptism and penance that you have entrusted to your apostles, through which we are cleansed of our sins. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. And calling to mind now, adding to these prayers, these petitions, calling to mind all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. In particular, those people that we know who are sick, those people that we know who are suffering, especially anyone who is in the hospital, recovering from surgery, in particular wanting to lift up as well um, all of those people who simply feel lost right now, who are not sure which way to turn, asking for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to guide them. And then praying too for, simply for, for peace in our country and for justice. So gathering all of these prayers and intentions, we lift up those sacred words, echoing the words that Jesus himself taught us. And so we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of our salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, um, I hope that you are gonna that you have a great day today. Um, as I mentioned. It looks like we are fixing to have just a beautiful day again out here on the lakeshore. Just another beautiful day in a string of beautiful days. It's really just been glorious. Um, 
So uh, whether you are out and about today and enjoying some of this day or whether you are staying in today, friends, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today. All right, may God be praised in you and may God be praised through you. And friends, please have a beautiful, beautiful day.